If you are overwhelmed when you're looking at your Schoology courses, which might look like this, because all of your courses look the same and you can't tell which one is which, I have a fun solution for you. Um, create your Canva account, and I will link that um, on this as well, and go to create a design. And we're just gonna pick the first one, which is presentation. It's gonna give us something that's just about the right size. So within this, um, there are, you don't need any of these. Um, we're gonna go over to background. And I'm going to think about just my, whatever course I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pick this random image. You can um, filter it if you want to, anything like that. And then I'm gonna go over to add text and add a heading. And so if this is for my reading course, I'm going to put reading and um, if it's a darker background pick a lighter colored text and if it's a lighter background pick a darker text um, just to make it easier for your kids to read it um, you can also do something like this where you add in a rectangle cover this I'm going to change it to change the transparency and I'm going to send it back. I want my text to be where I can see it nice and bold. So when I put the, uh, the title in the middle, there's a light pink line that kind of appears and I'm going to make sure that it's centered and I'm going to add in different fonts, maybe something a little bit fun. And then I'm going to make it duplicate, make it a little bit smaller, and I'm going to put my name. Sorry, Ms. Kager, I'm going to do yours as an example. And here we go. So now I'm going to go up here, I'm going to download it, not as a PDF, but as a PNG or a JPG. And I'm going to download. All right, so I'm going to use Miss Kager's reading course as an example. Um, so we've downloaded our picture. Um, I have gone to her reading course, and then I'm going to hover over the icon on the side where it says Edit Picture, Attach File, and then I'm going to find my file, which is right here. And once it's complete, you can close out. And so now whenever you go to your drop down, you're going to see a very clear idea of which subject is which, and it will have your name as well, which will help your kids um, and anybody else who has access to your courses. Uh, if you guys have any other questions, let me know.